you don't want to become a whole entire different person you just want to be better so do better you got it girl you got it girl you got it girl you got it little baby in a bag in a birkin Hey love Vims, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great. If you're new here, my name is Monka Mao. Welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe to become a love Vim as well. I've been consuming a lot of content from YouTube, TikTok and Instagram and all I see is how to create a vision board and this is absolutely amazing but the vision board process starts from the creation of goals. The goals that you create are the ones that go onto your vision board in picture form. So that means a lot of intention, a lot of energy has to be poured into the creation of goals so that you see visible results. When you think of creating goals, it seems so easy. Like, I want to start working out, so I need a workout routine, I need a skincare routine, I need this, I need that, and the list goes on and on and on. But how exactly do you create goals that actually work? Have a clear vision. Vision is not what you see with your eyes, but what you see with your mind. So have a vision of what you want to be and where you want to be at a particular point in life. And this vision has to make your soul happy. So that's where intention comes in. You have to be very intentional about the goals that you create, the goals that you come up with, because they literally have to make your soul happy. When goals make your soul happy, that means that this is something that you genuinely want to be. This is something that you genuinely want to do. You don't have to be realistic. Like, let's be honest, there are things like AI that we didn't even imagine could be a reality. Like if i was to tell you years back that i would come up with ai you'd look at me and be like <laughs> girl be realistic find a balance between being realistic and being delusional base your goals on your vision so after you have a clear vision of who you want to become and where you want to be base your goals based on this vision so if i want to be fit what do i do i have to go to the gym i have to start a workout routine and be consistent at it so that is the goal from the vision that you created the problem that comes in when creating goals is basing your goals on fleeting desires and temporary solutions like because skinny is a new trend i have to starve myself i have to get to the skinny like i have to get there so i starve myself and i do all these things not because i want to like these are not intentional goals but these are because of the fleeting desires because that's that's what it's in this is not a goal that you intentionally want to achieve but you just want to do it because that's what's trending focus on who you want to be or who you need to be don't drown yourself in thoughts that thoughts of what i should be doing the actions i need to be achieving to reach this person because this will lead to procrastination this will lead to being overwhelmed because you feel like you need to be doing a lot i want to lose weight so i have to wake up at 5 a.m start my workout routine before going to work da, 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 da. i need to be doing this i need to be doing that and you get overwhelmed with everything that you think you need to be doing instead of doing it act like the person you want to become if you want to become successful, what does a successful person do? Do they wake up early? Do they wake up late? Do they start giving life to the ideas that they have? Or do they just let the ideas sit there? Start walking in the path of the person that you want to become so that you get there eventually. Setting goals and having a cute vision board is cute. Like, that is absolutely what we all do. But that doesn't get you there. Because I can create goals and create this cute vision board and just place it somewhere and it stays there it's just not enough to get you there it's not enough to make you the person you want to become it's not enough to get you to where you want to be you have to act you have to act you have to do the things that you need to do to get there the only difference between you and the person that you want to become are your actions. You just want to become a better person. You don't want to change your identity. You don't want to become an entire different person. You just want to become better. So do better. Start and be consistent. When you start, you start to gain momentum. 
and you start to see the results okay so it doesn't matter if it's the 10th of january or in february or whatever time you're watching this but the fact is you need to start at whatever point you just need to start and gain momentum so that you start seeing the, the results so that the results start becoming visible to you and to the people around you you start reading the bible more you start doing it it becomes a routine you incorporate it into your routine it literally becomes part of you such that when you haven't read the bible you feel like there's something that's not right in your day okay because it has already become a part of you you know why they say practice makes perfect because there's consistency in practicing last but not least involve god involve god involve god in all your plans because he is god with or without the creation of your goals he remains to be god in jeremiah 29 11 it says that god knew you while you are still in your mother's womb so this means he started making plans for you before you could even start making plans for yourself he has been planning everything even before you were born he knows you and he says that his plans are for good and not for evil to give you a future and a hope so his plans are literally it when we get into the story of jonah god had a plan for him god told him to go and preach in Nineveh, but he he was like no I got my own plans. I got my own plans. Your plans, Lord, they can wait. I'm not going to Nineveh. And what did God do? The boat he was in, like there was a storm. And people knew that someone has wronged God. Like someone among them had wronged God. And they started asking each other, da 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 da. And Jonah came in and he was like, uh, I think I'm the problem. I was sent to Nineveh, but I, <laughs> I didn't go. And what did these people do? They threw him inside the ocean. He was swallowed by a whale. He was in the whale for like, is it three days? And the whale literally vomited him or whatever in Nineveh. So God's plan worked out at the end of the day. It worked out at the end of the day. Like, Jonah couldn't run away from the plans that God had for him. Like, you have to be obedient to God's plan. That's why I'm telling you to involve God. Involve God in all the plans that you make. So that your plans align to his. His plans align to yours. So that they actually work. If I was planning to go to uh, Rwanda. And God's plan is for me to go to Uganda. Trust you me. I will go to Uganda at the end of the day. So do a lot of involving God in your plans from the very beginning so that his plans align to yours, your plans align to his. Even in the story of the Israelites, when God was setting them free, their plan was to get to Canaan in a very short time. But they started disobeying God and they literally went around the same place for 40. What I'm actually trying to emphasize is for you to involve God in your plans, period. I hope that you guys learned a lot in this video and happy goal setting. May all your goals come to life. May your goals work. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this video. Guys, you don't know how much you make me happy when you subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends and your family. Like this video so that it gets to as many people as it can. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye. All the things that you do for me. Make me believe